This is going to be part 12 on the mongrel. So for this video, I'm going to be capping off the end of these uh, chassis legs and plating all the rest of this in. And these plates are going to have a few purposes. First one is obviously just to strengthen all this front corner up and tie all this back together. Uh, second purpose is the tubular front end is all going to be bolted to this plate. So we're going to have two captive nuts on the back of this plate, which the lower section of the tube will, will bolt to. Um, and then the upper section of the tubular front will connect in further up here. And then also the roll cage is going to come through and connect into this plate as well. So it's going to be like the sort of meeting point for a lot of different things and it's, and it's going to create a really you know rigid support for everything that's connecting to it. So this was my template I did. I think I want to just do similar to this but kind of like so it's sort of squared off a bit. Got some new shades. Bolla, 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 bolla. Don't know how you pronounce it. They're uh, shade five. It's what they recommend for plasma cutting. Up to 60 amps. Um, shade five. They're only like 10 quid or something. Look pretty cool too. Bit dark for wearing out in the town though. So I've decided I'm going to round this edge and leave this edge square it off a bit just because it's easy All right, so uh, plates are all cut, fit. I need to just trim this up a bit, a little bit more to get a nice tight fit on there. Clean everything up a bit better. I was gonna weld a nut on the back of here, but I've got some M10 rib nuts. So I'm gonna put a rib nut in the bottom and then the top bolt will actually bolt all the way through this plate here. So you can have a nut and bolt on the back and then if it ever gets hit or bent, I'll be able to drill that rib nut out if I have to and then that will just be a nut and bolt so you know if it ever does get uh, bent around I'm not ever going to have to cut out this to get to that nut. So yeah, just, just clean all this up. I'll put some weld through primer on the uh, front edges of these towers here on the bits that are going to be covered and then clean on the mill scale of this plate where it's going to be welded and then there yeah, we can weld them on.
Right, these lines are just where the welds are going to run. So I want to grind off all this mill scale. And uh, grinding off mill scale can be a real pain in the ass. If you use a flat disc, it just clogs it out. If you use a, a, a grinder, it, you know, it digs really deep into it. I've got those waffle uh, type discs which do alright for about a minute and then they just clog up. One way to do it is to use a, cu a cutting disc, but I use it as a grinding disc, which is uh, a bad idea because they could just blow up in your face. You're not supposed to ever grind with a cutting disc. Um, so I've got these which are like a, th a thicker cutting disc and just a bit safer to grind with. Right, so they're welded on. Um, I think what I'm going to do is trim these kind of like that. But I'm not going to cut them until I've got everything in where it needs to go, just in case something might want mounting or so I'll wait till everything is, uh, I've got everything laid out where I want it to be just in case I need a tab up here or something and I can use what's there. Uh, but that, I will end up cutting this back off so it's much smaller. So, all I need now is my two plates. So I'm gonna cut two plates out, drill some holes, rib nut in the bottom, bolt through the top. So I've got a 10mm hole in the bottom and then a 
smaller hole at the top so I can get a dead centre mark on this, stick my rib nut in, bolt that up, make sure that's dead level down through there and then uh, use that little hole as a marker to drill the other hole, slap a bolt through, good enough. So it wants to be like central to that leg, which is about there. So that's probably where it's going to sit. Best tool ever. Get yourself one, the link in the description. It's my favorite tool in the world, in the whole wide world. These are flush fit rib nuts. So they don't have the uh, lip on them, so they'll, this plate will mount flat. With normal rib nuts, you'd have a ridge at the end of it, so it wouldn't. Whoever invented this thing is a legend. So this is going to have two bars which will come straight out and then some tube wrapping around which will tuck inside the, the fiberglass panels at the front and then what I'll probably do is drill a hole in this where the roll cage is going to come through and then actually extend the roll cage tube out of this panel and then I can just weld it around the outside of this rather than trying to get in the back and then have a smaller wrap around bar then I'll use the uh, open ends of the roll cage tube as a socket and then this upper piece will just slot in and it will come up and around and then it will support the radiator and uh, intercooler if I turbo it or anything like that um, and also mount to the top of the front panel and have some pins for the bonnet to hold the bonnet down. Um, so once all that's in and I know where that's going to sit, I can trim this back to wherever I want it. I want to cut it sort of kind of straight-ish, get rid of a, quite a lot of this. I don't like how big and bulky it looks. But yeah, this is uh, it's good to get this done and solid because it means I can use the same mounting holes for my jig. And uh, I've got the back sawed, front sawed, so now it's pretty much ready to go on a jig. Um, and being, being on a jig, it's gonna be a lot easier to blast. The guy who's blasting it's gonna be able to do a lot better job just because it'll be easier, he can spin it around and get in lots of little places that he might have missed if it was just sat upright. So that's it for this one. I haven't had a lot of time on it this week. I've only done two half days on it. Um, so next week, I'm gonna really uh, smash into it. And um, yeah, that's it for this one. Cheers for watching, see you in the next one.